So hello everyone, this is Luboš Pirkl from CFD Support and I would like to welcome you to the webinar where we would like to show you the new simulation module which we developed here at CFD Support. It's pretty fresh, it's been developed uh, a couple of weeks ago and of course properly tested and we would like to share our first experiences and, and some, some information about it. So welcome, welcome to the webinar. And uh, today we will we will be free, free of us. We asked also our colleague Wojtěch Kubáč, who will who will share important inf information about the the acoustics. And uh, let's let's see what we can do. So uh, the webinar is being recorded. The recording will be made lately publicly available on our YouTube channel. So uh don't worry about uh, the recording uh, a lot of questions about recording so i said right in the beginning uh and uh yeah let's see let's see what we can do i'll i'll go ahead so uh there will be three of us uh it's there will be me which uh, i'm i'm a storyteller uh, uh, of our of our of our band and of our office and uh, yeah, today with us there's uh, Wojtěch Kubáč, who will, who will later join us in the webinar. Uh, I'll only mention that he's an expert on physics. He's senior developer of, and code developer, and he has his uh, uh, his part is is acoustics and and other uh, physics related to simulations. And uh, also Radek, Radek Matza is, is our head engineer and senior developer, and he will, he will speak for, for more standard CFD as, as usual. So that's us. Um, I, will, I will, yeah, they will join us during the webinar. So I'll, I'll continue with the webinar agenda. Uh, there's a, there will be first there will be like four parts in the in the webinar. Uh, in the in the beginning, you you have to survive this introduction, which I'll I'll give. Uh, it will be a little bit general uh, about us, but don't worry, I'll I'm not going to torture you too much. But there will be a little information about what's what's on the table and what's 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 the the product. And in the second part, there will be Radek. And it will be uh, the we, we call it CFD part. So Radek will explain uh, uh, how to how to do the simulation setup and also all the all the simulation uh, simulation related issues. In the third part, there will be Wojtech's part. Wojtech will will show us uh, about uh, or tell us about the 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 capabilities and features about of the of the new acoustics module which we which we developed recently and tell us uh, tell us uh, the, the about the issues uh, related with with CAA simulation and as usual at the end there will be a Q and A session dedicated to your questions and our answers so feel free to ask your questions anytime during the webinar it's your time so. I would recommend you to use it to the fullest, fullest, and really, really ask your questions. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, an important in information is that all the questions will be answered. So during the webinar, uh, we will in the in the Q and A session we will answer those most relevant and most representative questions, and the rest will be answered via email, but you can be sure that all the questions will be answered. So I guess it's, it's beneficial, beneficial for you. So make yourself comfortable and think about what it is, what you like, what you expect from the simulations and tell us, and we will gladly answer and, and do our best to, to, to make you happy and, and support you. Okay, so very quickly, CFD Support is a company located in Czech Republic in Prague, uh, uh, 12 years in the market, uh, we, we deal with simulations, uh, with CFD, uh, FEA, FSI optimization, and now newly in, uh, in, in uh, with acoustics simulations. Uh, as I guess you know that that we develop a comprehensive simulation environment called TCAE, which consists of several uh, simulation modules. They are as much as possible standalone uh, simulation modules which which can be used uh, or or not used uh, depending on on the user's uh, purpose purpose skills experience and uh, and other circumstances 
uh, we have we have couple of principles we follow to that. So I'll I'll go with the with the the most important principles we follow, which is the first one is flexible. So TCA is definitely very flexible. It's up to the user how how he will use it, how he will or she will integrate it into the, an existing workflow or create a new workflow. So it's uh, definitely extremely flexible. You can use uh, just a piece of it or as a uh, use it as a as a block of of complete features. It's completely up to the user so definitely you can you can you can play your own puzzle using commercial code using in-house code using open source code and uh, join and and use the benefits of benefits of strong interfaces and scripting and everything so so it's definitely extremely flexible uh, TCAE is also unlimited. It means it's scalable. It's perfectly scalable. There are, there are no limitations on number of users, jobs, or cores. There are no limitations on on hardware installations. There are no limitations on on uh, or pr practically everything. And it, it it allows users to use the, the benefits of TCAE to the fullest, especially, for example, at acoustic simulations, large simulations, uh, uh, or on a lot of uh, HPC. Okay, so it's unlimited. Uh, the next principle is focused and it's accurate. So we do a lot of benchmarks. We we TCA is clearly focused on particular problems which which has been who has been which, which has been tested so many times. It's aimed on particular applications and it allows it allows us to be to be focused accurate and uh, to bring a very high edit value. Uh, no, the number one is turbo machinery applications and external aerodynamics. These two are the, the best uh, with TCAE. There are also other applications, but we, we should always discuss them before we apply. Uh, okay, it's definitely not a general purpose code. We, we don't believe in general purpose code. We, we don't believe the, uh, in, in codes uh, which are for everything, for, for everyone. So it's, uh, I would say it's formula one and it's our job to 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 show you we are obsessed with accuracy we do a lot of benchmarks uh, there are uh, many of them are, are are available on our website so if we make sure to 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 visit our website and look look for them uh, there are a lot of information there you can find there in them in in case studies so we believe that every successful project is based on skills experience patience and the dedication and not uh, random actions in a rush and uh, uh, also, there are many uh, tutorials available, and we will gladly show you. Uh, the last one I, I want to mention uh, right away is, is TCAE is automated. So uh, it, automation brings a lot of amount of, of um, uh, effectivity. So it's very effective. It's automated, in, and it's up to the user whether it's going to be used as a black box or total uh, complete high-end high software. And it's the user decision how, how the software is going to be used. Uh, recently, we have uh, we have released the latest version. The new version is out. We, we are sending we are sending it to to everyone to, to our users and and collaborators. Uh, by, by this week, everyone will have it. Uh, it's it's called 22.10. So uh, it's we've spent again enormous uh, effort and and time to to develop the new version we have written everything everything possible and uh, it brings us a new experience new users experience and we believe it's it's a com practically a, a new software so the new version is out. Uh, I guess I guess you know that it, it has taken so much effort. We, we have, it's, it's based based on open sources. For your information, there are more than sixty open source packages in it, and uh, I guess you know that 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 we have mastered the process of of uh, making of of integration of uh, the the open sources and and add the the the, the final edit value. Up to them, their graphical interface and and the, the the practical use. So that's that's what we do. For your information, we have spent more than forty many years aggregated to to, to develop these open source packages into into what it is now. And uh, if you ever had uh, an idea to create your CAE software, please don't do that. It's 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 a nightmare. It's it's crazy and it's so much work. So so much work. Uh, anyway, the new version is out. There are a couple of things. 
we will communicate them with you with, with the webinars and everything. Today's webinar is about the, the simulation of acoustics. There's new mod software module called TCAA, which is ready to, to, to cooperate with the TCFD module and deliver deliver the, 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 the acoustics simulations. Of course, we are already working on the new version, uh, the new, new version, which will be released hopefully in, in the spring of uh, 2023 and there we, we believe that, that there will be uh, again new uh, new features but today we are here uh, to talk about the acoustics module so here we go uh, just a quick information from general information from my side uh, tcaa has been based on lip acoustics maybe you know it because it's a set of libraries for open form to do to do the acoustics but of it's it's based on acoustic acoustic analogies but of course as you know us we have taken it and have written it into uh from a library into an application to 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 be even much more effective than it is as it is available as in in the open source it can be applied uh, when the of when the simulation is uh, when the cfd simulation is finished then it can be applied uh, on it so it's kind of independent and again it's it's it fits very well the flexibility uh, flexibility principle of TCAE. You you can pick, for example, uh, whatever modules, and you can plug them in and plug them uh, off. And uh, uh, you, you typic, in a typical workflow, you do you do the CFD simulation, and then you can apply uh, uh, acoustics simulation, and and you can always change the the parameters of acoustics and still still do it because you have kept the the, the CFD information CFD results uh, for for the acoustics. That's that's the point, and that that, that makes it very effective. So TCAA became a smooth part of uh, of TCAE ecosystem, and it's our pleasure to show it to you today in our webinar and 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 on in the in the future. Uh, the the test case we we have picked is we call it propeller D D D G J I uh, ninety four fifty benchmark, which is uh, a real world uh, propeller from from a drone, which which is real. It exists. It's it's pretty popular, and uh, everything is is well known. And that there, there there have been done a lot of measurements and uh, simulations, and so we 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 know uh, what what's uh, what's going on there and it's possible to compare the simulation results with the measurement results and and that's why it's why it's why it's interesting uh, there's a pdf with so many details available so so do not do not focus too much on on, on the details everywhere just just get get the impression of, of the software and and uh, all the details are available there's the website uh, on our website and so there is a, you can you can see it there and also there is a download downloadable pdf where you can learn so much more details than than you can see in this webinar and if it makes any sense to you we'll be happy to 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 work with you uh, yeah that brings me to yeah to the to the next part which is the cfd part so i will ask my colleague radik Matza to to yep uh, yeah 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 i will ask uh, radek if he is there so radek can you hear us yes i can hear you hello uh, yeah yep i'm here <laughs> and yeah, ready for perfect. my part <laughs> perfect radek it's it's great it's great to hear you great to see you um in the hall actually <laughs> and, and uh, <laughs> yeah so so yeah uh, do we go right for it or do we do some small talk here now I will directly jump to it. So let's go. Okay. For it. Okay. Great. 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 So the stage is your Mr. Radek Mouth. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Lubos, for your introduction and hello to everybody who is watching our webinar. So in my part, I will present, let's say, a standard CFD simulation setup. So my part is kind of a foreplay for the next part for the acoustics part. So I will I will show you. Let's say. 95% of the workflow, workflow is a standard setup of any kind of TCFD simulation. And there is a one new processing setup which prepares the data for the acoustics. So I will show you this. As, as Lubos mentioned, on our 
web pages in the case studies you will find this this popular popular case study for the for the acoustics so you will find it directly here and the mentioned pdf you can you can follow and read also directly here so <clears throat> let me show you our case so i will i will quickly present the standard cfd setup then i will present the particular processing of the acoustic data of gen or generation of the acoustic data and then i will i will move the presentation to to Vojta, who will present the particular acoustics module so let me let me start with with the standard tcfd simulation setup so I will quickly present the geometry. The, I will I will be speaking about the mesh parameters, TCFD parameters, and mainly for the parameters for the acoustic data generation. Okay, so <clears throat> so the case the case topology is let's say a standard follows the standard rules. So if I go directly for the for the components. Okay, let me let me visualize also what is inside so we have a large domain and in the middle there is a put there there is the propeller placed and there are two components stator and rotor part so component one is this huge domain I had to neglect the boundary effects and inside this huge domain there is a propeller geometry split into standard parts. So in this case, we have here the hub part, suction and pressure side of the blade, and leading and trailing edges for better capturing the sharp edges. So, so by the splitting, we can set high level of refinement to get a nice, nice mesh on it. And of course, the boundary for for the rotating rotating region. So what 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 should we take into account when we are setting the simulation for the acoustics? So usually when we do just the stationary simulation, we mainly focus on the on the boundary itself and there is no need to refine, let's say, the vague areas in too much detail. But for the for the acoustics data data generation, we we need the transient simulation and we need to capture capture also the vague in into somehow into the some level of of refinement what are let's say what are the rules we have for example mentioned it in this pdf report so the rule for the mesh refinement could be something like this that for the for the correct frequencies we would like to capture in the simulation we need to set for, for the refinement level that we have 25 cells on a wavelength to catch the corresponding frequency. So for example, if you would like to catch the frequency of 1000 Hertz, <clears throat> we need to have the cell size at least about, let's say one centimeter here in this part, particular case. So for capturing 2000 Hertz, we need something like half a, half a centimeter. So this, this need to be taken into account so therefore there is a there is a refinement on the on the on the patches on the surfaces itself and and additionally in the stator part in the domain part we need to add some refinement um, some volume refinement in the wake area and among among our ob object among our our propeller so maybe I will directly show you the resulting mesh just to show you what what is a proper let's say topology of the mesh. So so this case is already pre-computed, so my mesh is already generated, so I can I can visualize it. So let me show you the topology of of the resulting mesh. I can here on the CFD mesh item I can apply a slice. And okay, just to see the topology. All right, I will do some tricks to have a nicer, nicer shape of it. 
now I can show the surface with edges. Um, maybe I can just go for the wireframe and let's say change the color of it. So this is the topology of the mesh. So we can see that there is a nice refinement on the blade itself for, for sure. Final refinement inside the rotating region and some reasonable refinement along or among our among our object to capture the given frequencies as we as we already discussed. So in this case, we have the standard, the largest cell size is something like this, 128 millimeters, and the refinement region, if you can see here, so the smaller one has the refinement level five, which means that the that the cell size inside this level is this value divided by two, 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 five, right? It's divided by 32, which is something like four millimeters. So we are in the range for capturing, let's say something around two times or something more than 2000 Hertz. All right. Then for let's say nicer capturing of the wake area, which can have an effect of the on the on the flow itself, and of course on uh, on the acoustics, we have let's say larger domain with with lower refinement level, which is which is this one, and for example the third one, which is coarse, which is the coarsest, and capturing the the full let's say wake area uh, below below the blade. So this is this is the mesh. Yeah? So the the principles are very the same. So you need to have the fine enough mesh, and additionally you need to have fine enough volumetric refinement, uh, which capture the flow flow in the wake area and around around your object, and which follows the acoustic evaluation surface, which I will show you which I will show you later. About the simulation setup for the CFD. I would mention that we need to have transient simulation. The the time stepping should be should follow, let's say, two rules. One rule is to to have a nice and stable CFD simulation, and the second one is for is for sampling frequency requirement, which you can also quickly read, for example, in this document. And the rule is, for example, that uh, that for capturing the given frequency, you need to have you need to have something like this time stepping, and to so for example for capturing frequencies 2,000 hertz, you need to have or 1,000 hertz you you need to have the time stepping time time stepping which corresponds to to the to the which corresponds to the frequency which is of the double size so to 2,000. 2000 hertz right so it's something like 5 to 10 to minus 4 5 times 5 times 10 to minus 4 in our case because the cfd simulation requires uh, requires fine time stepping so this rule for the acoustics is is followed is is okay and in in the in the cfd simulation we usually set the time stepping which corresponds to the degree of one degree of revolution which in this case where we have the the rotating velocity which is here in the physics so we have 6000 rpms yeah, so we have that is 100 are uh, revolution per second divided by 360 degrees so it's something like 2 times 10 to minus 5 right so we can capture with this time stepping frequencies higher than 10,000 hertz. Yeah, so it's far, far above what we can capture in the in the in the spatial domain. So we are fine with this. So this is the time stepping, and and important question is to so how long should I run the transient simulations? So you need to you need to have enough time. To, to stabilize the flow in the in the wake and to, ha to have enough time to for the acoustic analysis or for the sampling the acoustic data which can in this case 
could be something of range of, of the range 10 or 20, 20 revolutions of the propeller, let's say. So the so the otherwise all the other parameters are set as for any other CFD simulation for external aer aerodynamic of, of this kind. So I will not mention all the other parameters because you can you can follow other webinars which are which are focusing on the setting the simulation itself. And what is new and what is important for the acoustic analysis is is here in the simulation in the in the runtime evaluated quantity section. Here we can find now the option write acoustic data. So if we enable it, we we here here you set the the surface surface for the sampling the data the acoustic data on which the acoustic analogy will be applied and and the acoustics will be made itself. So here we can say the time interval for sampling the data. You can start from the zero, but usually at least 10 revolution takes to, to stabilize the flow. So first 10 revolution is just a garbage from the acoustic point of view because this, the flow is, is converging to some, to some steady state or to some stable, stable, stable flow. So let's say we can start with after two, after 20 revolutions, and the time end, the default is minus one, which is until the end, or we can explicitly, explicitly say up to which time we would like to sample the acoustic data. Then here we have right interval, so usually we want to sample each time step, but you can, for example, for some reason, you can you can sample just any uh, every second time step or a third or whatever. Data format, there are three types at the moment. So some form format in binary and ASCII mode and, and some general format uh, in ASCII mode. So we can we can keep the binary one, which is which stores the less data from these three options. Then acoustic surface, we have we can we can sample directly from the from the from the patches. Or we can set the domain by the external STL, which you can import, or you can use some kind of built-in geometry shapes to to set to set the sampling surface. So in this case, we we will use the surface. We will set set the parameters to capture the domain around the blade and also the the mesh, let's say topology, the finest topology we have prepared for this for this reason. So I will quickly set to follow our refinement regions. So it could be something like this. So I think height was 0.4 meters and the axis direction is in Z. All right, perfect. So you can see this is our sampling, sampling surface. So on this surface, the compulsory field from the CFD simulation will be sampled, which is, I think, the velocity, density, density, and pressure. Yeah, so the, these three fields are sampled. We can use, you can get rid of the upper and lower cap for some reason, because in some benchmarks or some in some studies, there they, they suggest to not to add or to add these caps, so you can play play with it. So we will keep all the whole surface of the cylinder and the mesh coarseness means the finest of the sampling of the data yeah? so you can imagine that this cylinder is is discretized and in each point of the cylinder the 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 fields or the field side velocity and these are are sampled and stored so it is clever to have the coarseness which corresponds to the which corresponds to the coarseness of the mesh we are sampling. So we have something like half or five millimeters, so we can keep it in this range yeah, of five millimeters, let's say. And basically that's all. So after we run the simulation, all the all the data is sampled and then and are ready to load to be loaded in the acoustic acoustics module and do the acoustics on, on the data we we do for the CFD. So just to 
show you. So basically at the end from the CFD point of view, you, you got the standard simulation results, tran uh, transient result with all the fields you want, you want to follow. And additionally, you will have the acoustic or the, or the data for, for the acoustic analysis. And I think this is what I would like to say in my part. And now I will, we will move to Vojta. And first I will, I will give the presentation back to Lubosz. Uh, Lubosz, okay, are, are you there? Yeah. Yes, I'm, there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. So uh, I'm taking back um, uh, the presentation. Yeah, great. So I hope you can see it. And uh, yeah. It's it's time to move yes, on a yes, little yes, bit. So there will be there will be next part where Vojta uh, will will show us uh, yeah some some details about about the acoustics. So I hope uh, Vojta is ready. So uh, Vojta, can you can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, and I am ready. Uh, great, great. So uh, I think I think you can go ahead. The stage is yours. Okay, thank you, Lubos, and thank you, Radek. Uh, hi, all. Uh, yes, so. Yes, we can see your screen, so. Perfect, so here we go. So I will follow where Radek ended with, with, the, with the clean case. So we have set up the mesh and the CFD simulation. And we are ready to actually switch on the acoustics so I can press the button TCAA and we will see now that we have these uh, nice settings. So I, I will start from the, from the top where are the more, more most important things. Uh, as Radek already told us uh, and Lubosz as well, uh, we, we work with stored data from, from CFD side which are stored on disk and loaded uh, with the TCAA. Uh, and here we can choose which data we want to use, uh, either directly from the CFD simulation, which direct, uh, which are already prepared for us, or we can use some external data from some other simulation already made. Uh, this is the huge benefit of having the data on the, on the disk. We can run the acoustic simulation multiple simulations of acoustics on one CFD data to just play with it, what, what can it give us and to check what are the rules and what mistakes can we do and how we can learn. So I will continue with the CFD simulations from, from the Radek case. And here we can just select with, uh, what time range we want to use because as I recall, it told us in the beginning of the CFD simulations, there are not a very useful data. Uh, so if, if, if we are collecting data from the beginning and don't want to use them, so we can just write here 0 0.3 seconds, which corresponds to 30 rotations, because we realized that the 20 revolutions that are uh, set up was just to too generous, too, too early. And uh, something similar holds for the time end as well. We usually want to go up to the end. So if we, if you write minus one, it will go up to the end of the data we, we have. Uh, I haven't mentioned that we are using acoustic analogy named Fox Williams Hawkins with its Farasat 1A formulation, which are up to our knowledge, the most most, most used uh, most used analogies and did, did the job very well for us. Okay, so I think this is from the gener general things all. Then we have to set up the observer locations. Observers are just the, the points where we want to collect the uh, acoustic data. Uh, where we interested in, in the quantity. So we just write the name of the observer to identify it easily in the in the final report. And then we just set up the positions we are interested in. The number of observers can be pretty huge because usually we are interested in, in more locations. So we can play with, with it as we please. And, and the final thing to 
to add to have everything set up for uh, acoustic acoustic run is the is some physics. Uh, we need to set up the speed of the sound and reference sound pressure, which is used for calculating the decibel related uh, quantities like sound pressure level and power spectral densities, which are the main outputs of of our of the TCA module actually. Uh, yes, so this is the setup for acoustic analogies and uh, when the TCA is run, uh, this setup gives us the time evolution in the locations of the observers. The time evolution of the acoustic pressure. And the next step is to convert the tem this temporal data to the frequency domain, which is the task for the signal processing. We use, of course, Fourier transform. Uh, and uh, the way how we do it is as follows. Uh, there are some ways how to clean the signal because it can be potentially, uh, it's just a simulation, right? So uh, there, there can be some some dirty frequencies we are not interested in. So we can apply two types of filter, the DC filter that will filter out the lower frequencies. So this is usually the shift uh, away from, from zero because we expect the acoustic pressure to oscillate uh, around zero. And if we, for example, set up wrong uh, wrong physical physical constants here or, or something went wrong, it can be shifted out f from zero and this DC filter takes care of it and will shift the data basically back to, to, to zero, to oscillate around zero. And there is a important A, a, a filter as we call it, like anti-aliasing filter that will filter out the higher frequencies. Uh, the the default is zero, 0 0.4 times the sampling frequencies. Uh, FS stands for a sampling frequency here. This, this is safe to uh, uh, to overcome the uh, aliasing effects. So if, if you use the data below 0 0.4 sampling frequency, we are under the Nyquist frequency, which is no, no, which is the frequency required not to not to be affected by the by the aliasing effects, or or we can use like values. We, we I think what we want here to just have nice data in the range we are interested in, basically. And after the filter is uh, after the signal is filtered, we we can follow for the Fourier transform. Uh, we can we can use so, so called Welsh method if the signal is long enough. So if we have I don't know at 20 resolutions or or higher, we can split the signal on on multiple blocks. Let's say on four four, four blocks. This is the Welsh method. On each block is applied a, a window. Uh, the details can be found in our PDF or on the internet in textbooks. So I just mentioned it. Uh, it is possible to set the setup here. And this overlap here is how the blocks are overlapping each other. And basically after the, after one block, after on the block is applied a window filter and the filtered block is uh, then sent to Fourier transform and Fourier transformed and subsequently processed it to cal calculate the uh, power spectral density and sound pressure level. And I guess that's, pr that's pretty everything. Then we have just the report section where we can select what are the report sections we are interested in and which units uh, are used in the reports and the number of lowest frequencies it's just to have a nice table of the frequencies that are strongest uh, in both of the uh, power spectral density or sound pressure level. Uh, okay, 
this basically all from the GUI, I, I can just show you how it looks for if we are using the external data. It's, it's basically basically the same. We just need to uh, select the uh, select the surface we are using. So let's do it like here, for example. This is this is the path where the data are stored from the DCFD simulation. So we just go to the DCFD transient uh, speed line point directory post processing, and here is the directory acoustic surface, which, which can be loaded into into the GUI and. We can even see, see the data uh, in the in the render view. It is visualized as points. The points corresponds to the uh, center of faces uh, of the of the surface that Relic created for us in the TCFD uh, module. So each point is is one cell, and it, in this in these locations, we have stored the pressure, density, velocity, and also some geometrical fields corresponding to the face, like normals, face centers, and face area. These all data are needed for uh, in the TCAE module to to do the uh, acoustic analogy simulation. Uh, you need to write correct name here for the surface name which is ju just the name uh, name of the surface you will find it if you go deeper in the in the directory and also you need to set some more physical quantities that are not known in the external data simulation like the reference density and reference pressure in the t if we are using CFD simulation as the source, then it's loaded from CFD side. If you are using external data, it's, it's unknown because we are not we don't we don't know what are we using actually. Okay, this is all from GUI, and I will show you a uh, like, uh, type of a report. This is, is the CAA report from one of the simulations we made with this DJI propeller. And the CAE report looks like this. At the, at the beginning, it's some summary of the of the simulation that we are using these analogies, sampling frequencies, and Nyquist frequencies are written here. And then some short observer summary with the names of the observer. You can see it here. It's, it's not very uh, good names. It's just observer and a number, but you can play with it. Uh, where are where they are located and overall some pressure level. And here we go uh, for the filter for the signal data. So for each of for each observer we have unfiltered signal. This is just the result of the acoustic analogies, just the raw result. And you can also take a look on the filtered filtered signal. You, you can see this is very, very similar. So this means that the signal is already clean when coming to uh, to the TCAA. And this clean signal is then used to, to compute the power spectral densities. It's again per observer. Each observer has its own table with the number of loudest frequencies. This is the number set up in the GUI in the report section. So here is the frequency and uh, the value of the power spectral density. And for each observer, we have these nice plots here. It just shows, shows us the frequency plotted again, uh, power spectral density plotted against the, against the frequency. And we used a logarithmic scale on, on the frequency, frequency bar. And the last quantity is stone pressure level, which is uh, reported the same way as power spectral entity. So you can again choose the observer and take a look on the data you have. 
and we are at the end of the report and we are also at the end of my section of, of the webinar so I sent the word back to the Lubosch to conclude very very well thank you thank you Vojta for your for your part for for your contribution it's um, yeah it's great so thank you thank you so much and uh, yeah we, we can move again in the in the webinar so I would like to ask the audience to ask your questions so yep yeah, ask your questions uh, and we will do our best to to answer some of them and uh, yeah let's see so yeah 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 so um let's get into it so radek and Poita, if, if you see uh, a question you would like to answer so please please do and uh, i will i will answer something okay uh, there are a couple of questions already so so i'll, I'll pick one so so peter is asking a question uh, on transient cfd is used uh, what uh, well, uh, is used for our acoustics do you use uh, urans des or les uh yep good question uh, actually we, we we in, in in this part I, I mean in this case we we used uh urans because we it, it was partly our inexperience and we were not sure about the mesh because it was re relatively relatively rough and we, we did not do the the grid convergence convergence studies but the the, the answer is you you can pick, pick whatever you want there, there there are urans there are des available and there is also les available so you can pick uh, any of them there are a couple of models for each of these um uh turbulence approaches so you can pick any of them so so we we did not uh we did not follow follow these we we followed other um uh, other aspects of, of 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 it uh but but you can pick any of them that's for the for the turbulence uh, you can basically in 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 wider range you can pick any anything what's available in open form because it's it's easy what's not in the graphical interface uh, you can you can edit with with a script so it's whatever whatever is available in open form you can you can pick for for the for for the transient or or on, you know, for the yeah uh, for the for the PCFD simulation so um, yep so what else what else uh, so, yeah, maybe we can we can answer the, the other question. It's possible to calculate the sound not for air but for another medium. Yes, this should be possible. We have we tested it on these DJ, DJI propellers, but so we don't have data for any uh, acoustics in water, for example. But there is nothing that should stop us from doing that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, okay. Let's say the only thing is that we, which we, which is, which we are answering now. The, the another question from Peter that this is the free field of sodium Hawking's, right? So we can't handle this simulation inside the pipes or with any other installment. Yeah. So if you, for example, simulate the axial pump in the in the flow flow field and around are no installation let's say or you pick the sampling surface around the installation then then you can do this this free field analogy yeah 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 it, has, it hasn't been solved yet so so let's 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 see and uh yeah and the question from vanessa uh, uh, may, may, um, do, do we can you can you imagine that that we would we would so use water as a medium uh, or or it's yeah, yeah we don't answer it yeah yes, 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 yes. okay okay because uh, as you know there, there are a lot of uh, uh, people but the interested thing is in, that for, for example for centrifugal centrifugal pumps it's questionable sure. so it's not yeah, ready I, I, for yeah. that now yeah 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 because it's only for this free field yeah so you are you are the acoustic source and then you then you ask okay in this position far from this acoustic source what what is what is the acoustics okay you can okay, ask yeah, yeah yeah because i already see some some of our clients who are definitely interested in this in in the yeah. in the in the, in the in the audience so uh yeah 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 okay and uh, also peter is uh uh 
is uh, or, or just just an old notice that he agrees that that error acoustics can be applied mm -hmm. to ship proper noise which is actually the, the the point i wanted to to ask about okay uh, uh what else what else what else uh, yeah, well, there is a ship proper noise, so answer is yes, and the cavitation is not included here yeah, because the the sound from the bursting <laughs> bursting bubbles is is not there in the model, of course. So it but can the, be the, the proper noise without the cavitation. <laughs> At the yeah. But when you use if when you use silver with this cavitation, like physical cavitation, then yeah, yeah, but but. There, there should be the source from the bursting the bubbles, which is not included in the in the in the sampling surface, right? Okay. It's, not, okay. it's not there in the model we are using at the moment. Okay, okay. We, should, we have to discuss this afterwards. Anyway. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. So yeah, and uh, well, yeah, uh, as, as Peter pointed, it's not really, <laughs> it's not trivial, right? Otherwise, it will be everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not trivial. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, and uh, well, uh, just as as for myself, I'm I'm kind of fine. Uh, with, uh, do you do you see there, there there are still something, but I I'm I think I'm fine with with the answers. Can do, do you guys see something? Okay, you like maybe to... last one. There is a question: What is the total duration of the simulation? So, for example, the case we, we presented, which has 5 million cells and 50 revolutions to be simulated, takes takes 40 yeah 40 hours on on 32 processor CPU. Yeah, so, yeah. and basically all the computational time is the CMD part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very quick compared to the CMD. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, the, the transient simulation, it's what's uh, what's demanding on, on on it because you you have to have some well resolved, uh, of course, in time and space, and uh, and uh, that that takes time. The the the, the CAA simulation is, is is a couple of seconds. It's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well. Uh, Okay, guys. I, I think uh, this would be it. The, I can see some also some some very specific questions we, have, we, we are not gonna not, not gonna answer uh, still in the webinar. So I think I think we can we can we can conclude. So I hope you can still my still can see my screen. So yes. let's move to the to the we are approaching to the end. So there are a couple of clients who already follow our visions with us. So you're all anyone is welcome to join our group. We are like a, a family. We are a rather small company who who takes care and really never leaves behind anyone so uh, anybody's welcome and this will be this will be it for today do, do you guys have anything to to say just i would like to thank you the audience and we are looking forward to future questions discussions projects problems <laughs> so, problems yeah comments and so on Thank you. Thank you for watching. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys for being here with us. And yes, uh, uh, thank you. Thank you to the audience for your attention. Let us know how we can help. Uh, we are used to to solve problems. It's our job, and and we wished it in some some uh, some time in the beginning. And uh, yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to to work with you. So thank you for your time and this will be it for today and we are looking forward to to see you next time somewhere else so thank you thank you bye bye and bye 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 <laughs> bye, -bye. bye, -bye.